Breaking Abstract 5, a plenary abstract, is the Matterhorn study, a randomized phase 3 study of Dravalumab plus 5-FU leucovorin oxaliplatin and docetaxel chemo, or FLOT, in resectable gastric or gastroesophageal junction cancer. As background, perioperative FLOT is standard of care uh, in resectable gastric or GE junction cancers, at least in Western countries, yet recurrence rates remain high. In Asian countries, where these cancers are very prevalent, surgery followed by chemo has been standard, but recently we have data suggesting that at least some preoperative therapy uh, is a benefit. Immune checkpoint inhibitors are approved in combination with chemo in metastatic gastric and GE junction cancers and in those ineligible for surgery, but not in the neoadjuvant or adjuvant setting. In the Matterhorn study, uh, this was a randomized double-blind phase three trial looking at adding drivalumab both in the preoperative and the postoperative setting to FLOT in locally advanced and resectable gastric GE junction cancers. Patients received two cycles of uh, preoperative and two cycles of postoperative uh, drivalumab or placebo along with FLOT, and then the drivalumab was continued for 10 cycles as maintenance after the end of chemo. The primary endpoint was event-free survival. Results, 948 patients were randomized with 31 months of follow-up. And the event-free survival hazard ratio was 0.71, so about a 30% reduction in recurrences. The median event-free survival wasn't reached yet in the drivalumab arm. It was 32.8 months in the placebo arm. 24-month event-free survival was 67.4% versus 58.5% with the addition of drivalumab. The median overall survival is not yet mature. They reported an early, not significant hazard ratio of 0.78. Grade 3, 4 AEs were reported as similar. In conclusion, this will be a new treatment paradigm in patients with resectable gastric and GE junction cancers. It's important to note that some of the therapy was given preoperatively and some of it was given postoperatively, which should become the new standard of care along with the addition of drivalumab, the immune checkpoint inhibitor. We're going to need to study the duration of drivalumab. It was given uh, for 10 months of maintenance after the end of therapy, can we give less? Can we better define the population of patients and cancers that are benefiting from the addition of the immune checkpoint inhibitor and only give it to those who have a high chance of benefiting and save the toxicities in the rest?